What's going on? Little Dap, it's Jared Mons, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Today I'm doing an unscripted video here telling you a story about how I met David Beckham. Um, we did the story of how I went pro a few weeks ago. Everyone loved it. It was it was it was great. We I can't believe how many people watched it and how long they watched it for and, and the emotion that it sparked from people and how inspired they were. So a lot of people were asking about more stories on when I was a pro, how I went pro, things like that. So we're gonna try to do some more of these unscripted videos as a way to, you know, inspire you. Um, so one of the cool things about playing pro is the awesome players you get to meet. Um, and yeah, on the field you want to be like that hard, tough guy, but deep down, like the kid inside, he was like, "Oh my God, that's David Beckham." Um, so the scene, uh, to set the scene here, it was 2005. It's my rookie year as a pro uh, for the Chicago Fire. I was 22, and um, David Beckham was playing for Real Madrid back then, and Real Madrid was doing a doubleheader with Chicago Fire. So Chicago. Um, played a game and then right after that game Real Madrid played Chivas USA at Soldier Field in Chicago sometime in 2005 and this was on a Saturday Friday night before the game um, D David uh, Beckham in Madrid had a, a training open to the public 10 to 12,000 people came out just to watch Madrid train it was unbelievable Zidane was on the team um, who, who else was massive on the team back then uh, Beckham, obviously, some other really big players, but it was it was insane, all the fans for them. And at the end of practice, everyone's kind of hanging around, you're just watching all these stars, and they're kicking the ball about, and Beckham has his own crossbar challenge going. And he's got like five or six balls lined up, and he just, choop, perfect little chip, hits the crossbar. Second one, crossbar. Third one, crossbar. Fourth one crossbar, fifth one crossbar. I mean, the crowd is just going nuts for this. And he's just doing it like it's no big deal. There's 10,000 people watching him. Um, but what was even more impressive was, was after the game, we were down in the tunnel below, and they had a barricade, a barricade of, of, um, to keep the fans and the media away from the Madrid players as they were coming out of the locker room, going to the bus. And it was probably like 30 or 40 yards from the locker room to the bus. And the whole barricade was lined with media and fans. And lots of the players, uh, Zidane, he, like, he just walked right by, kind of put his head down, did one autograph, and just got to the bus. And uh, I think Ronaldo, Ronaldo, might have, Ronaldo maybe was there. I think he did the same thing. But Beckham, he stopped at almost every single person along the way. It took him 45 minutes to go 30 yards. He was signing autographs, doing interviews, taking pictures. And at the end of that barricade was me and a few of my fire teammates, uh, one of which was um, Chris Rolfe, who plays, still plays for the Chicago Fire. Will Johnson, he's the captain of the Portland Timbers now. But we were all rookies back then. And 22, Will was 18 or 17. And we're like, Bex, can we please get a picture with you? We play for the fire. And he's like, who's that? No, I'm just kidding. Um, so we get this picture, we got our arms around Bex and we're looking at each other and you know, we're rattling off the picks and I'm like, Bex, you're the man, you know. Uh, my hand was shaking when I met him. I've never had another man make my hand shake like that before. And had, we had our arms around him and I was like, Bex, tomorrow night after the game, we're having a party, would you like to come? And he's like, sorry mate, we're flying out of here. And this like really nice English accent. Um, yeah, we got a great picture with Bex. He was super, just world class, uh, the way he handled the fans and everyone, and just the ultimate pro. And you can see why he is a Fortune 500 brand in and of himself, and why he's so loved by players and people and fans all over the world. Um, but that was my story of how I met David Beckham. Hopefully, we'll find the picture and we'll post it up for you to check it out. But I hope you enjoyed that story of uh, one of my many stories of being a pro. Have a good week and uh, train hard.